Numerous factors affect the net income of a company. Operating expenses, interest expense, taxes, depreciation, amortization, and others. Financial analysts are using various metrics to analyze performance of the company. One of them is called EBITDA. EBITDA stands for Earnings Before Interest, Tax, Depreciation, and Amortization. One of the reasons for its popularity is its focus on the financial outcome caused by operating decisions made by the current management of the company. Think about it. Current management may have nothing to do with many factors affecting net income, like amount of debt and the level of interest payments the company has to pay. Neither it can control the tax rate established by government, nor it can easily control the depreciation or amortization expenses. While EBITDA is one of the most popular measures, depending on the industry and capital structure of the company, terms EBT, EBIT, EBITA are also used. So how do we calculate it? Let's take a look at the income statement of the XYZ company. It made $500,000 in revenue, spent $200,000 in operating expenses, had also spent $25,000, $75,000, fifty, dollars and $100,000 on amortization, depreciation, interest, and taxes accordingly, and made $50,000 in net income. At first, let's add back taxes and we get EBT, earning before taxes. Next, let's add back interest expense. We get EBIT, earning before interest and taxes. And finally, let's add back depreciation and amortization, and we get EBITDA. To find out more, go to financeratios.com.